Welcome to this, the first video in release 9.1 improvement series, focusing on the new progress dialogue. For demonstration purposes, we shall use an example solution from the data-driven testing series, which can be downloaded from the user guide, a link to which can be found in this video's description. In the example, a condition has been set that only females will be added to the database in the demo app. If we click on Run, we are greeted by both the demo app and the new progress dialog. If we briefly focus on the demo app, we can see the test's definition. Personal information is being added to individual fields and then the entry is being added to the database. Now to see what the progress dialog is doing. Pressing the pause key will still abort the test and shift plus pause will still skip delays and timeouts. The run status tells us that four iterations have occurred, one successfully and three have been ignored as they did not meet the predefined condition or, if you prefer, they were not female. When an iteration is successful, this will be reflected in the status bar in real time. And the progress bar gives us a visualization of what has and is still to be done. We are able to see the time elapsed and the amount of time each action takes and when each action is completed. All of this information is real time which means you know the instant things are going wrong and the exact status of your test runs. In the next video in the release 9.1 improvement series, we will look at the improved start and close application under test actions.